Just watching these videos is enough to make your skin crawl with sensations that are nearly impossible to explain. Number 11. A YouTuber named Mr. Papa Burgundy has a giant backyard flooded with poison ivy. He must have lost a bet or something, because now he stands on the porch without a shirt and shouts some words that I can't understand before jumping straight in. It's obviously supposed to be a joke at first, but things become more real and intense than anticipated as the plant's natural defenses start to seep in through his pores. He is trying his best to play it off, but his hands are clasped in front of his chest as if praying, and his fear shows through. He finds himself clawing at his skin as soon as he stands up, and it's no doubt the beginning of a long exposure that will take days, if not weeks, to safely overcome. Why he decided to do this, I will never understand. Number 10. An extermination company called Global Pest Solutions may have met their match with what they are calling the biggest bed bug infestation they have ever seen. We're here at another bed bug job that we've just set up. This is probably one of the worst infestations that we've seen. Here you can see gigantic bed bugs swarming all over this person's pillow, which they still sleep on every night. The bugs are so numerous that they have even climbed off the bed and are colonizing the walls. Notice how the bugs vary in size. Some are adults, while others look freshly hatched. Obviously this colony was going to continue on its own for a long time, unless a professional company stepped in. And that's just on the surface, when they lift up the mattress. They find years of egg cells, aside from them chomping you all over. Okay, that's disgusting. Take a look at that right there. That is all uh, egg sacs, dead bed bugs. Um, this mattress should be thrown out. I can only imagine what breathing in the dust particles from this would do to your health over time. Number 9. Kids record from inside as a man puts a ladder underneath a massive wasp nest and climbs his way to the top. He appears to be wearing no protective gear at all. Be careful! As he shakes a single can of bug spray and lets loose into the nest. Once he is sure that most of them are gone, he swats the nest to the ground with his bare hands. But he has to quickly climb back down. Overall, he is very lucky to have gotten away. Number 8. A custodian calmly takes the elevator down to his workplace destination. Moments after he gets off, something appears to briefly dance overhead in the area where he was just standing. It could just be the blurry close-up image of a bug running across the camera lens, but it's weird how the round black mass slowly wanders over to where the buttons are located, almost like a real pass passenger would. It then somehow seems to blend in with the shadows against the door, which makes me think that this may not be an insect after all. Look at this part and tell me what you see going on here. After a while, things calm down, and nothing moves across the screen again for another full minute before the video ends, leaving me with the impression that this was a quick paranormal incident. Number 7. This video was apparently taken in Bangalore, India. A motorcyclist with a GoPro is riding late at night. It appears to be a desolate rural road with no street lights. Soon the motorcyclist approaches something on the side of the road that is glowing white, taking no chances. He speeds past and then apparently uploads the footage at a later time. Normally, I'd say this is someone covered in a sheet. I don't think that would explain why it's literally glowing white though. Due to the glow, I would say there is a good chance this is actually paranormal. Number 6. A remote controlled robot is inspecting a 42 inch sewer pipe for anything out of the ordinary when it comes across a creepy find that will make your skin crawl. 
The water looks relatively clear at first, but then the camera operator looks down in time to see a wriggling mass of giant worm-like creatures the size of snakes. They are piled up so high that they almost breach the surface. I have no idea what these are, nor do I have any idea what so many are doing down here. Someone please help me identify what these creatures are, and while you're at it, let me know what the odds are of one climbing through the sewer pipes and into my home. Number 5. A Sippy Cup Company recently got in trouble for a faulty design that left trapped water to fester inside of the mouthpiece. From there, your child is drinking liquid that passed through the middle of this green goop. And my kids have been kind of having colds lately, so I was like, well, maybe that's why, you know, or are they going to get sick from this? Washing the cup in the dishwasher does not reach the contaminated middle section, and only parents who were washing it by hand were touching anywhere near it. To make matters worse, the only way to find out if the mouthpieces were moldy or not was to cut them down the middle. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's been sitting in there. And we were just shocked that it would even be that much. Surprisingly, the company is still in business and making more sippy cups, although with a better design this time. Let me know if you think they should be given a second chance or put out of business based on what you've seen. Number 4. A YouTuber named 614 Life has a massive blockage in his shower drain, and now the water will barely go down. To fix this, he uncaps the drain and sticks a long plastic tool down the hole in search of the problem. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay. In less than 10 seconds, he is pulling up glob after glob of wet hair that is probably already weeks old. There we go, yeah. Now that we're getting down in there, we get all the way down. As far as I'll let you go. The clog looks thick and full to begin with, but as he gets to the meaty center, the situation gets out of control until finally he finds himself ripping up huge chunks with an actual pair of pliers. The section is probably months old and gives him a lot of resistance. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god. And if you haven't already almost lost your lunch, he picks up the mess with his bare hands to give you a closer look, then he drops it with a sickening wet slap. This is hair. Number 3. Reddit user Sydney0906 records a long trail of maggots steadily climbing out of the garbage can in science class. The bottom is absolutely infested with larger ones that are gorging themselves on fast food and a banana. There are easily hundreds, if not thousands of them crawling all around, just waiting for a chance to get out and attach themselves to students and their belongings, spreading whatever contamination they carry along the way. Number 2. Tons of kitchen waste travel up conveyor belts, where it is sorted by hand and dumped into chutes below. At the bottom of these tunnels lies millions of tiny cockroaches who are ready to eat the slimy brown sludge all day and night. This is one of the many cockroach farms popping up in a certain nation that cannot keep up with its own garbage output, and now a new industry is creating warehouses full of nothing but bugs and garbage to combat the problem. Here a worker shakes out a new shipment of cockroaches to eat away the waste, shaking the bugs off themselves the whole time. Firstly, the cockroaches can dispose the kitchen waste so quickly because this is a special thing about the cockroaches' eating habit. For example, a cell that's filled by kitchen waste can be eaten up in two hours. And they are selling the essence of cockroaches as a bottled health remedy. If someone could translate what these boxes say, maybe we could learn more about the product. Whatever it says, I really don't think it's convincing enough to turn bottles of cockroach juice into an international health trend. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram 
at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one, a YouTube channel called Maggots vs. Food shows what hundreds of hungry bugs can do to a popular fast food item. You'll never look at this meal the same way again, as bright yellow and much darker ones alike all converge as one, causing the food to dance and squirm under thousands upon thousands of small bites. At first, it looks like the burger is starting to grow bigger, but that's actually just the inside filling up with bugs. They seem to largely ignore the bun at first, in favor of going for the juicier contents inside. I guess even insects have discerning tastes when it comes to feeding time. After three hours of digging, they manage to separate the ingredients into four separate piles that only grow more as the hours pass. By now, the bugs have probably almost doubled in size and look ready to burst as they scurry in and out of hiding holes. By the end of it, the meat is a gray, dried-out husk littered with craters, and when he lifts up the remaining contents to examine what's underneath, he finds that the colony has probably tripled in population and size. There's videos that will scare you, and then there's videos like these ones that will scare you forever.